Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and today I'll show you something that will get you more print time. And that's always something good. So, let's get to it. So I'm sure most of you have been in the situation in which your first layer doesn't stick too well and before you know it, you end up with something like this. And this is not good. Now I've already made videos on how to get a very nice first layer using manual mesh bed leveling. I've also made videos on how to get ABS and PLA to stick properly to the bed, although those methods always required applying something quite messy to the bed. Now here is where log build comes in. Lock build is a special stick on build surface which gets you all the adhesion you need for many materials. It's basically a thick, flexible sticker for your build plate that has sort of a grippy, rough surface but not too much that it will transfer to the print. Installation is a breeze. Just throw it to the printer while it's printing. The more you do it, the better. Okay, so joking aside, installing lock build is actually very easy. To install log build, you should first make more space around the build plate by moving the z-axis and if you can, also pull the bed towards you. If you have an aluminum bed, you'll want to remove the glass first. If you have a PCB heated bed with glass over it, I suggest you upgrade to an aluminum heated bed. You could stick it directly on the glass, but if you do that and the glass breaks, you will also lose your log build surface, so I wouldn't do that if I were you. Then just clean the build plate with a clean cloth. At this point, you can trim the log build surface with some scissors if necessary. Next, remove that back layer of the surface, and then carefully align it with your build plate. Starting from one edge, squish it gently with a smooth object until you reach the other side. This will prevent any bubbles from forming. Remember that this will add or remove some thickness to the bed, so adjust your Z and stop to prevent any epic fail. But is it even worth it? Hell yes! I've been able to print PLA, PEG, ABS, and several exotic filaments on the surface with absolutely no warping. Now, this doesn't mean that ABS doesn't require a heated bed. It still does, but it manages to stick at temperatures down to 85 degrees. At least, that's what I got in my tests. If you want to print something like nylon, which warps like crazy, you might need the help of some glue stick. Also, when it's time to remove the prints, just wait for the build plate to cool down and the print will easily come off. This was the same for many filaments. Actually, log build will last for hundreds of prints. I've been using it for over a month and I have seen no impact on its surface or performance. And if your printer uses an inductive probe for auto leveling, don't worry, it will still work. You just need to adjust the Z offset in your printer's firmware. But to me, the best part is that there is no messy additive that needs to be applied to the printer before every print. That means one less step so you spend less time preparing the printer and more time printing. That is especially important where time is money, such as makerspaces or when you're looking at 3D printing as a business. Either way, this is a 3D printing product I could easily recommend to anyone that's looking for better adhesion or that is looking for a more reliable or efficient 3D printing process. If you want to try it out, I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description. Also remember to tag Think Making in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. Well guys, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button and if you loved it, consider supporting me through Patreon or by buying some cool t-shirts in my merch store. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out this video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.